Hello everyone and welcome to the Weekly Rewind presented by Attractions Magazine. This episode is for Monday, April 27th, 2015. I am your host, Banks Lee. We're going to take a look back at the past seven days of our Twitter feed at Attractions. So let's go ahead and get started with April 20th. As you can see here, this is a photo of BB-8. This was uh, during Star Wars Celebration the weekend before this past one where they announced that... The New York Times actually announced that in the Disney theme parks, VB-8 right here will be appearing in person. Don't know when that's going to happen. Don't know in what capacity it's going to be. I'm going to say possibly maybe Star Wars Weekends. Don't know. Kind of. I mean, this thing rolls around on its own, like a little R two D two ball. It's it's really neat. I really think this is going to be a, the the standout character in uh, Episode Seven when that comes out. So I'll be looking forward to seeing him in the parks in the future. Also on April 20th, Madame Tussauds at Tussauds Orlando shared this photo of their gift shop at the exit to their attraction. That's all going to be opening up this week at iDrive360. We'll have coverage of the eye on this Thursday's episode of the show. On to April 21st, we shared this photo of the exterior of the Crayola Experience that's coming soon to the Florida Mall. It's at, at Visit Crayola on Twitter and at Shop Florida Mall. And it's very colorful, very bright. It definitely catches the eye, especially when you're driving by on the toll road there. Uh, I'm, ex- I'm excited to see this. It seems like it's going to be really fun. Uh, you guys are going to have a gift shop, a lot of attractions in there. You can make your own crayon. That's pretty neat right there. On to April 22nd, we shared some photos from inside American Q. It's a restaurant at the Bee Resorts over near downtown Disney. This is the Cherry Maple Manhattan, and it's garnished with bacon. Ah, I'm interested. I'd be interested in trying an alcoholic drink with bacon. (laughs) That's for sure. And here's a photo of the buffet pickup that's inside American Q. Uh, You can see some more photos and some more information of American Q on our blog at Attractions Magazine. Dot com. Moving on to April 23rd, we were over at the Boathouse Restaurant at Downtown Disney or Disney Springs to cover the uh, opening of that. You can see it. Look inside here. There's a area, a stage area there for musicians to play. And here is a photo of the Amphicar out on Lake Buena Vista. There, you'll be able to see this on our show as well this Thursday. The Amphicars are pretty pretty neat to ride in. Uh, you can see a video of it already on our YouTube at youtube.com slash attractions magazine. And here's a Vine post uh, looking at one of the Amphicars launching into the lake there. It's that that alone right there, the splashdown, that's that's the really cool experience. On to April twenty fourth we shared this photo of some Oswald print merchandise over at the Marketplace Co-op at Downtown Disney. This is done by Disney artist at Custom Paper Toys. And on April 25th, we were over at SeaWorld to check out Viva La Musica. It's back this year. Here's some merchandise that's available there. And a look at some of the food that you can pick up there at Viva La Musica. And here's a Vine post showing off some more of the foods, more close-ups of what you can get. Looks very delicious. I'm getting hungry right now. On April 25th, BioReconstruct on Twitter shared this photo of uh, the construction progress for a new attraction coming to Bush Gardens in 2016 over in the Egypt area. Don't know what it's going to be yet. Uh, fan, uh, Bush Gardens, uh, rather. They haven't annou- officially announced what it's going to be. Rumors are saying that it could be some sort of coaster. It uh, has indoor and outdoor elements to it. Uh, don't haven't really heard much myself, but we will keep our ears open to see if Bush Gardens announces anything here in the near future. On to April 26th, Parkscope on Twitter shared this photo of some stilt walkers at Universal. This is during their Grad Bash event that's going on currently, and it's you know these are the characters that you see in the Beetlejuice show, but they're on stilts. I've never seen this before. I think this is a really neat uh, photo op, and I love uh, the bride's look over at Frankenstein there. Also on April 26th, we were over at Pirates Town on International Drive to see the debut of the new version of their Three Musketeers show, Voyage Home. It's a really great dinner theater, some food, enjoy some entertainment, great stunt work, great sword play. You'll be able to see a uh, segment on that on a future episode of the show. And finally, closing out, here's a look at the full cast of Three Musketeers, The Voyage Home at Pirates Town. And that is going to do it for the Weekly Rewind this week. Like I said earlier, be sure to tune in onto the show this Thursday. We're going to be at iDrive360, giving you a look at the Orlando Eye, and then as well taking you to the Boathouse at Downtown Disney. So be sure to tune in for that. And until next Monday, have fun, guys. We'll see you later.